Cisco Cloud on RAM for MultiCloud. Connect your Azure account to Catalyst SD1. Why do we need this? Thanks to adding your Azure account, you can connect your SD1 network to Azure and manage interconnection with your virtual workloads from one single dashboard, Cisco SD1 Manager. In the Cloud on RAM for MultiCloud dashboard, navigate to Setup and Associate Cloud Account. Take a look at the information needed to build the connection. To complete the workflow in Azure Console, you have to save Subscription ID, create App Registry, and save Client ID and Tenant ID, as well as create and save value from Secret Key, that is called Secret ID in Manager, and finally create Resource Group for SD1 Manager. Switch to Azure Console and click on the subscriptions to choose one that you want to use for cloud deployment. Make a note with the subscription ID and go back to the main dashboard to find App Registry. In the App Registry, register an application for your SD1, give it a name and save changes. This app will be identifying your manager. In the Overview, navigate to Essentials section and make a note of the Application ID and Directory ID. Go to Client Credentials and add a new Secret ID. Make a note of the value field from this screen. Last but not least in Azure, create a resource group and manage it access control. Click on Access Control IM and add a new role. Choose Contributor Role to allow SD1 Manager to build connections to your workloads. Let's go back to SD1 Manager. Create a name for your account, choose Yes for Cloud Gateway's deployments and paste the IDs that you saved from Azure Console. Finish with Add Action and enjoy the established connection. Now you can connect your SD1 network to Azure Workloads directly from Cisco SD1 Manager. Do you want to take the next step? Check out our video about Brownfield deployments in Azure and then get your hands on our free dcloud lab.